good morning. It is 6 a.m. up at Snoqualmie Pass, and today I am going to be climbing a mountain that I have had my eye on for some time, and that would be Red Mountain. I saw this mountain last year, and I knew I wanted to climb it, so I am back a year later, and we are gonna get this summit. It is about six miles round trip with uh, 2,700 feet of gain. So this is an easier mountain, which is good because um, I am actually fighting off a cold. So decided to go for something a little bit easier while um, getting better. So I'm very excited. Red Mountain is supposed to be beautiful. The Alpine is starting to bloom and we've got gorgeous clear skies. So let's get going and climb a Red Mountain. majority of this trail follows the um, old Cascade Crest Trail up the Commonwealth Basin. So this is basically um, on an old trail that was basically the precursor to the PCT and I mean it shares a trailhead with the uh, PCT at a Snoqualmie Pass but um, they constructed the new better version um, with nicely graded switchbacks and everything so you know you got that but this follows the old trail um, going up through the woods gonna start getting some views soon and see some of the pretty creeks along this valley but it's pretty cool getting to see this old trail Okay, well that creek crossing over a Commonwealth Creek was a little bit uh, spicier than I thought. Um, the water's a bit high, so it wasn't like, it was kind of hard to rock hop. And then um, also the rocks are really slippery. So uh, made it across, didn't fall, didn't slip. And uh, coming up this, so I did like the first third of the climb and now it just kind of climbs gradually up the valley in this pretty flat section and then in another I think half mile or so I'm gonna get to the part where it starts climbing in earnest again um, and then I'll get a look at the final summit scramble um, and I am hoping I've been watching the clouds burn off they're supposed to burn off by like eight and it's seven right now and they are definitely fading so hoping to get some sun in the woods soon enough <sighs> but yep enjoying the easy part before it starts climbing again There she is, Red Mountain, huh. Well, first look at Red Mountain. The clouds cleared up and I'm gonna be in the sun soon. But this also marks the point where the flat part of the valley ends and I gotta start climbing in earnest again to get to the final approach up that thing. But, ah! It is encouraging to actually see the summit now and I'm looking forward to breaking into some more 
alpine, getting out from these trees and stuff and getting the sun. So ready for, ready for the grind to start. As you can see, I made it into the sun. And um, I'm just ascending this section at a slow trudge. Um, if my breathing seems more labored than usual, that's because it is. Uh, just letting me take a slower pace, just because, whew, yeah, I'm still feeling the effects of that cold. So I'm just taking it slow and easy not rushing myself, so uh, just trudging on up. Really looking forward to breaking the trees, but. Well, behind me is the final scramble up to the summit. Um, I'm gonna take a break here and just let myself rest for a little bit because yeah, I'm starting to feel it. The cold is definitely slowing me down, but I only got like 400 feet of scrambling to go and I'm very excited. This is supposed to be a very fun scramble um, and it's going to be beautiful. The views are going to open up. I mean, as you saw, the views have already started to open up. So this is going to be a gorgeous final ascent. Um, and you may have noticed I brought the helmet. And one of the reasons for that is Red Mountain is known to be covered with very loose rock. And I'll have to see if I feel like I need it, but I figured better safe than sorry. I don't want to have rock slide down and hit me on the head. So being safe, but there it is, and the sun is about to come over the crest of that, so it's going to start warming up too, but I definitely need like 10 minute rest, and I'm going to get on up that ridge. So this is the trail so far and yeah the uh, the loose rock is definitely no joke like it's these large rocks that are really easy to like you know dislodge and roll your ankle on so uh, yeah this is slow going it definitely reminds me of Kendall Peak it's what a lot of uh, the peaks up here at Snoqualmie Pass are like but yeah this is definitely worse. I'm just going really slow and minding my footing. It's supposed to be more solid rock up a little bit higher, but I mean, view isn't bad. Huh. 
but yeah, this is going to be a pain coming down. Okay, well, I have gained the ridge and the summit is right there behind me. So, whoo, almost there, which good, because this is pretty sketchy and it is taking it out of me. So I need to get up there and relax. But I mean, the rock is way more solid on this part than the stuff I just did. So it should be pretty easy. I give you the summit of Red Mountain. Oh my god, that... I could barely film some of that. That was honestly one of the most miserable ascents I've had. And not just because I'm sick. Oh my goodness. It is... That last couple hundred feet to get up here is rough. And very precarious so huh. but this is amazing and the rock is red so i will show off everything but i have to eat and probably have a sun nap on these rocks because yeah i am beat if you can't hear it in my voice it's getting a little hoarse so i'm hoping i don't lose my voice in the process of making this video we'll see but i will give the tour of red mountain because as miserable as this was it is still worth it I will give the tour because this is honestly an amazing view. So, start with the tour, then I'll show off some geology and stuff like that. All right, so 
looking south towards Snoqualmie Pass and obviously we have beautiful Rainier. We've got uh, Silver Peak is the tall gray one there. Um, and then I think Tinkham Peak next to it. And then coming down here, this knob here, that is Guy Peak. This is Cave Ridge. That is Snoqualmie Mountain. That is where I was last week. And then this is London Peak. This is supposed to be like a technical uh, climb that's pretty dangerous, but you can definitely see the boot path going up it. And then here's the Red Ridge. You can obviously tell which part when it becomes Red Mountain. Um, and then this mountain here, I've become aware is Mount Price. This is Big Snow. And then right behind Big Snow, you can see something white. That is Glacier Peak. And then coming up around here, we have this big pointy thing. That is Mount Thompson. And then this is the Ridge of Red Mountain. And then right there, you can actually see the Kendall Catwalk and the whole stripe of the PCT. And that is Kendall Peak. That is where I was roughly this time last year. And this is where I saw Red Mountain from. So ah, now I am on Red Mountain. And I'll show you some footage from last year when I did this um, and saw Red Mountain because it is so distinctive. Like all the other peaks around here are, you know, this kind of gray or white granite, but Red Mountain is so oxidized that it makes it red. It's really, really cool. Um, it's got some old basalts and stuff like that. Uh, so it is a really pretty mountain and turns out a pretty tough mountain to climb. Don't let the elevation gain fool you. So, I mean, this is a pretty amazing summit. I mean, like just peaks in all directions. <laughs> And as miserable as the scramble was, the rocks up here make pretty good benches to relax. So I am appreciating that. And yeah, I'm feeling my voice start to go. So <clears throat> when I do go, I'm probably not going to be filming any of the down climb. I'm going to have to pay attention really carefully. I'm going to be wearing my helmet and um, I'll check in at the bottom and let you know I made it and then skedaddle out the valley. Um, because, yeah, this, this definitely took longer. This took me longer to get up here than Snoqualmie Mountain, which I think Snoqualmie Mountain is uh, steeper. But this is more technical, so it took longer. Also, I'm sick, so. Uh, but, woohoo! Red Mountain! And I mean, okay, also, I'm sure you noticed I did dress up for Red Mountain. Had to wear the red, the red leggings. I mean, come on. Why do I have them if not to wear them for Red Mountain? was Red Mountain and I am filming this outro a couple days later because yes I did in fact lose my voice. Pro tip it is probably not the best idea to climb a mountain like this when you are in the middle of a cold but hey I survived and I'm feeling much better now. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about Red Mountain. Um, I'm glad I got the summit because if I'm being perfectly honest I don't think this is one I would do again. Don't get me wrong, Red Mountain is gorgeous. The views are beautiful and the climb up the valley is really quite pretty. However, that final thousand foot scramble to the summit is 
honestly quite miserable. Um, the quality of the rock is abysmal and it just going both up and down was honestly, it was not fun at all. The loose material and everything just made this a chore and there are way more fun scrambles that will get you to basically the exact same view. So I'm very glad I got this summit. I would say the reason you would want to do this one is for the peak bagging purposes, which for me that was important. However, if you are in it for the views, there are other peaks at the Suquamish Pass area that I would more highly recommend if you want to get views like this. Um, if you are going to do Red Mountain, I would highly recommend bringing a helmet just because there is a lot of loose rock and there's some good chunks as well. It's not just like some dirt and some small pebbles. You definitely want a helmet because if anyone else is on the mountain, especially above you, they could be potentially raining rock down. So that would probably be my biggest recommendation if you are going to do this, but I don't really recommend this uh, just because it is not the most fun climb. And also I definitely wouldn't recommend it as a beginner scramble either. But I'm glad I got it off the list and I am looking forward to hopefully some more fun alpine scrambles coming up these next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the climb today. Enjoy.